What's up everyone, Darkblade here with a quick patch video for Dragon Age Inquisition. This is for patch 6. By the way I have said that patch 6 improves overall gameplay stability, implements a number of bug fixes and introduces some multiplayer improvements, namely the Qatari multiplayer character who now gets more HP and generates guard on hit. There have been a number of PC fixes as well. Now firstly going over the few PC only fixes. Firstly, they've enabled binding of additional mouse buttons for mice that have more than two buttons. This is quite good for PC players. Next, they fixed an issue that caused abilities to no longer be usable in tactical mode when using mouse look toggle. Next, they fixed an issue which caused mouse look toggle to be turned off during looting. They also fixed an issue that prevented resurrecting characters who had died in deep water. And lastly for the PC only, they fixed an issue that could cause the journal to act in an unexpected way when expanding categories with the mouse. Now I personally don't play Dragon Age on the PC as I don't have a PC good enough to run it at a sufficient rate at the moment, but all these changes I'm sure PC players are glad to hear about. Now moving on to the changes and fixes that are across every system that Dragon Age is on. Firstly, they've improved stability. Now I'm going to cover a few of the single player changes first and then the multiplayer ones. With the single player, they've changed Solus's quest, What Lies Dormant, to be triggered when reading the after action report of Measure the Veil Strength, instead of When the Time Completes. Next, they fixed an issue that could break the Perseverance quest in certain circumstances. I'm not 100% sure what these circumstances were as I never broke the quest, but any bug fix is normally a good bug fix. Next they fixed an issue where the GUI did not come back after opting out of light conversations in certain circumstances. This I'm quite pleased to hear because it was a slight annoyance that could grate on me a little bit. Next is a good change and one that I'm really pleased they've implemented because it's bugged me for quite some time and that is they fixed the mosaic pieces for the for those of you who are unaware the mosaic pieces in the hinterlands had one piece one mosaic tile that was bugged and could not be collected thus you couldn't actually finish the mosaic this is now fixed and I'm pleased to hear it next they fixed an issue that caused some dragolins in the hinterlands to become non-hostile when the dragon was killed and lastly for the single player they fixed an issue that caused the cave opened by the abyssal high dragon to become closed again in certain circumstances for those of you who are unaware there are actually two mosaic pieces in that cave and if it bugged it meant you couldn't finish the mosaic in the western approach so I'm glad to hear that they fixed this. Now for the multiplayer, firstly, like I said at the start of the video, they have buffed the Qatari multiplayer character slightly, so that it has more HP and generate guard on hit. This should make the character much more viable in the multiplayer, because until now he has been one of the weaker ones. Next, they fixed an issue where shatter and rupture combos would be reported twice in a multiplayer session stats. This is a minor bug, not too worried about this one. And lastly, they've made changes to prevent players from salvaging items that are equipped by other characters in the multiplayer. I'm glad they fixed this as players could sometimes make a mistake and salvage an item that was being used by a different character. One thing I have to mention though in regards to this patch is they've added something to the multiplayer that is not listed. They've actually closed off the doors to the health fountain in the multiplayer during round 5. So basically you all have to gather up on the flag before it can be placed. Meaning that you have to go out of the room with the health fountain and by doing so the doors will lock behind you once the fifth round starts. This will make things a lot harder for the multiplayer matches. So this may be considered one of the more negative changes that have come with this patch. So there we have it, that is it for patch 6. As you can see there have been a few nice changes in this patch, nothing groundbreaking or huge but it has ironed out some of them annoying creases. I'm really pleased that they finally fixed the issue with the mosaic pieces, especially the hinterlands one and I'm glad they've buffed the Qatari in the multiplayer. So if you want more information about the patch you can always click on the link below where I'll leave a link to Bioware's blog so you can check out the full patch notes if you want. And until next time, I've been Darkblade bringing you a quick information video about Patch 6 on Dragon Age Inquisition. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.